Hey guys, I hope y'all have had a great day. Uh, today being May the 18th, we will be doing uh, our Psalms on the 30. Um, I hope, hope you've already been there. Um, I was able to um, both read and listen today uh, through the Psalms on the 30. Uh, that would be Psalm 18, Psalm 48, Psalm 78, Psalm uh, 10, let's see, 108, and Psalm 138. Uh, I think I've got them correct. Um, <clears throat> but in this one, in Psalm 18, um, it's a little bit more lengthier. Um, but what you find is you find uh, that it's almost got a book in, which most of them do. Um, when you look at Psalm, one, uh, Psalm 18, uh, it begins with, um, it, it's, it's a song of, of victory. Uh, it starts out with, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Uh, the Lord is my rock, but then it closes with the same kind of picture uh, because, again, it's a psalm. It's a song of victory. Uh, David's uh, enemies, um, his enemy Saul had, had been handed over. Um, you had, um, you had um, um, uh, the Lord had given this to him. But if you notice, it, it starts with that, and then it ends with, Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. And so <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to catch all the stuff in the middle. So Psalm 18, remember, you can read God's word anywhere. Um, Psalms, Psalm 18, he says this, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Again, this is David uh, would be right in this. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust. I love the, the purpose in that. I will trust. He's my buckler. Uh, the horn of my salvation in my high tower. Uh, man, it's already uh, speaking truth in the fact of where where are they leaning? Where, where, where is his trust? Where is his, where, all of his life is placed in the hands of that of God. Verse three, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. He knows his salvation comes from that of Lord. Verse 4, the sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. Guys, listen, th there's no better name to call upon than that of the Lord. Um, in my distress, I called upon the Lord. I cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Uh, that's the assurance of knowing uh, that God hears. He says this, Then the earth shook and trembled the foundations. Also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth, devoured coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion around him, round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him was thick clouds past, hailstones and coals of fire. Now notice, notice verse 13. The Lord also thundered in the heavens and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and, listen, and scattered them. He shot out lightnings and discomforted, and, and discomforted, and dis, discomforted them. Then the channels of waters were seen and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke. O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. Every bit of us just praising God. Because of why? Because of his victory. Uh, listen, I'll tell you, every one of us, um, when we face battles, and there's nothing greater than, uh, than to that of uh, sing praises unto that of God. He sent, he sent from above, and he took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. Constantly, just po just pointing to that of God, He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because He delighted in me. 
he he's a good good father um and so therefore he's saying that's why i was delivered the lord rewarded verse 20 the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to, 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 to the cleanness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. Why? Because it was it was David um, looking and doing that of what a Romans 12, 1 would do. Um, a Romans 12, 1 and 2. For all of his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. He stayed in the word. Uh, he knew where his strength came from. It comes from that of the word of God. Verse 23, I was also upright before him, and I kept myself in mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed uh, me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful, thou wilt show thyself merciful. And with an upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. Listen, God calls good, good, and he calls bad, bad. Quite the opposite for the world we live in today. With um, He says this in verse 27, For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. He is the light that goes before us. Uh, check it out. Um, verse 29, And David knew that. For by thee I have run through a troop, um, and, and he says, and by my God, have I leaped over a wall. Um, and as for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. It is a buckler to all those that trust in him. Remember what he said in verse two about the buckler. For who is God save the Lord? And who is the rock to save our God? He says, it is God that girdeth me with strength, maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hind's feet. That means I'm doing your moving, Jack. Um, and, and he says, and setteth uh, me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that, I, that, that a bow of steel is broken mine arms. Listen to verse 35. Thou hast also given me the shield of my salvation or thy salvation. And thy right hand hath holded me up because that's, that's, that's who God is. And thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not slip. Listen, you ready? A sure walk, a sure, a, a sure path is a path of that of God. Uh, God goes before. Man, who can be against it? No, no one. Uh, verse, uh, see, verse 38. I have wounded them that were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. Why? Because of God. And for thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Yes, see, he's, he's, he's recognizing through this song of victory that you ready? My victory is only in that of God. It is because God has helped me win this battle. It is through his strength and his strength alone. Um, I mean, we, we, we need encouragement like that. He says this, he says, uh, they cried, but there was none that saved them, even unto the Lord. But he answered them not. Why? Because they'd already turned their back on him. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind <laughs> and did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Hey, listen, ready? Again, it's just, it's just lifting up. It's just praising that of God. And as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Why? Because of what God did through him. Uh, the strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their clo listen, closed places. The Lord liveth and blessed be my rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. Who should we exalt? That's God, man. Um, it's, it's, it's he who is our rock. It's he who needs, who, who needs to, is worthy of our praise and worthy of our worship. It is God that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Or if, if you want to listen to this, you ready? A man of, a man of violence. God delivered him from that. And then we close out like he, like he, like he started. Therefore, and there's the therefore, will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen. 
Who's he doing it? Among, hey, you know what? They know they nobody like my God. I mean, that that's he's speaking to the world. Uh, guys, there's nothing greater that you and I can do as well. And that is do what? And that is just to sing the praises of God in the midst of this heathenistic world, in the midst of this lost. And why? Because that is when we are the light. Man, we're the light that's going into a dark place. Well, watch this, ready? Great deliverance giveth he to his king and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David and to his seed. And notice this, underline it, forevermore. That's forever. And David recognizes that. David knows that. He believes in, in the true word of that of God. And, and his faith is in what God is saying. Uh, and man, I'll tell you, our faith, uh, we grow stronger and stronger um, when we are are, are closer and closer uh, to that of God. We're in his word, man. We're diving into it. We're studying it. We're growing in it. Um, and it causes us uh, to be at peace. Uh, it's a strange peace to the world, but it's a godly peace. Um, and that's what we want. Guys, listen, hope you've enjoyed Psalm 18, man. It's it's amazing how how David, if anyone could sing this song of victory, you and I could sing that song as well. Man, we should be singing Listen to this, ready? I'm going to turn. I try to usually stay there in the Psalms, but but I want you to listen to the scripture. You ready? It says, um, he says, and be not be and, and be not drunk with wine, where is an excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Why? What happens when you and I are filled with the Spirit? Watch this, ready, guys? Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always. For all things unto God and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What causes David to sing? It's when he's, oh yeah, that's right. When he's walking close with the Lord. The Lord is fighting his battles. Guys, hope you all have a great night. Listen, tomorrow, Psalms on the 30, and grab that proverb as well. Hope you all have a blessed night. See ya.